All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Princess Connect Redive video. And today we're taking a look at maxed out Pecorine with unique equipment, completely maxed out at level 130. So of course I did say I want to do a showcase on Pecorine with unique equipment because she is an absolute god. And I genuinely feel like she probably has become either the best tank in the game or the second best tank in the game because she is utterly ridiculous. It's either her or June competing for one or two. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at her character stat level. Level. I will take a look of course everything I have maxed out. She is only at rank 11 3 so I am missing about two equips here. Um, of course this will be changed in about what is it four or five days for now because we're getting rank 12 and 12 3 and all that stuff. Um, but she's gonna be missing about around 400 500 HP ish in total and about an extra 10 to 12 um, physical and magic defense. Um, so taking a look at her overall stats this is rank 11 of course level 115 which is the current max as of the recording of this video. Um, her defense is 398 physical defense. That's absolutely ridiculous. If we were to have the bottom right equip here, she would be sitting somewhere around 408, 410 physical defense. Uh, so it's a little bit of an increase, but not too drastic. Uh, and then her magic defense is also over 300 as well at 302. Once again, with the bottom right equip, she'd be around 310-ish. Uh, so her defenses are insane. Over 300 for both defenses are nuts. And she has... 30,000 HP, which is really, really good. Now, her unique equipment is very special. Once again, here is unique equipment, the Princess Sword. This is completely maxed out at refinement cap level 130. As I said, as of the recording of this video, this is the current maximum level. It's gonna be giving her a, another 75 physical defense, 68 magic defense on top of her already insane defenses. So it's making her defenses already go from pretty solid to amazing. He's also getting HP recovery boost, which is really good because of her lunchtime plus ability, which now is going to give her a recovering HP by 5,000, boosting her max defense by 116. Keep in mind, guys, so she's going to be sitting somewhere around 400 physical and 400 magic with her unique equipment passive active and on top of her being maxed out at rank 11. Uh, so Pecorine, dude, her defenses are insane. Her lunchtime plus ability is insane. On top of her recovering HP, she also absorbs a barrier that absorbs 2,610 physical and magical damage. So on top of her already doing all that stuff, healing herself for 5,000 HP, which is a lot of HP, if you guys don't know. I think Yui's entire like universe heals like 4,000 HP to all allies or something like that. I can't remember, but this HP heal is nuts. Uh, so that is why I feel like this character overall has become insane. If we want to compare this to another character, let's go ahead and compare it to June. My June is at 11.5, completely maxed out, so it might not be too fair. Uh, but June is going to be having 34,503 HP, 370 physical, and 250 magical. So her having about 4,000 extra HP, which is honestly pretty solid. But as you can see, the defenses are much in favor of our girl Pecorine than June. June has 370 and then 250. If we go ahead and take a look at her skills here, she also will be getting an extra 262 from her EX skill. Uh, so that's a grand total of about 500-ish, uh, about 500-something magic defense. So her defenses, I feel like, are definitely much better on June. But if we compare that to the EX skill of Pecorine, if we head back to Pecorine here, Pecorine's EX skill is it's going to give her a 9,900 boost of HP at the start of battle. So her HP is actually over 40,000. 40,000 HP. She's way over 40,000 HP if you have her with her EX skill active at the start of battle. So her defenses are going to be 400, 400 with... 40,000 HP with a magic absorb barrier. She's also healing herself. She does okay damage as well. She doesn't do crazy damage, but then she has this union burst. Not only is she boosting her own magic defense here, is not only she healing herself here, not only is she giving herself a absorb barrier that absorbs 2,000 magic and physical damage, her princess strike will boost her physical and magic defense by an additional 209. So if you're going to go ahead and add that all up together, you're going to be over 600 physical defense and over 600 magical defense with, keep in mind, with 40,000 HP on top of her having an absorb barrier and on top of her healing herself. So, so that's just ridiculous. And obviously we have June here who does extra stuff. Like, of course, she heals allies HP by 3,960, which is a pretty solid ability. Uh, most part, you're not going to be healing yourself for that. Um, this barrier obviously is really good, 6,000 to physical and magic de damage. You, her universe is insane, right? She also shreds defense as well, which is pretty good. 
However, I just feel like overall, I mean, she's going to be having higher HP than June. She's going to be having way higher physical defense than June. And she's also going to be having way higher magic defense than June. So overall, I genuinely feel like she might be the best tank in the entire game based on stats alone. And as I said, she's not even fully equipped all the way. She could still have extra HP and she could still have extra magic and extra physical defense on top of that. So she's just an absolute crazy character. So now that we talked about her for a little bit of time, let's showcase her in dungeon mode where I feel like she's absolutely going to shine. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare a team for us to go ahead and dominate really quickly through dungeon uh, and move on to the final boss because that is where she will truly shine is against that final boss uh, just to show how tanky this girl can be. Uh, so I'm going to leave this in triple mode and we're just going to go through uh, Pecorine will actually take zero damage from like literally anything in the entire game. She's going to heal herself and if she has her universe proc, she's basically immortal. Seven, like 600 defenses to both defenses. Combine that with a, a barrier as well as self healing for an insane ridiculous amount. She's basically untouchable, unkillable god tier. Um, this is why I think Pecorine is probably the best tank in the game. Not only is she like, she literally just has no flaws. I mean, I guess you can get caught so you can get caught sometimes if you don't have your union burst up and you get hit with a super super like defense shred on your character you probably can get caught but that's pretty much goes for any tank in the game any tank that gets caught off of defense shred or whatever could take a lot of damage so that's not only just a peckering flaw that's kind of a tank flaw in general um really def defensive shred is just way too strong in the game and i i definitely feel like defensive shred is probably like the, the best ability in the entire game um but Pecorine, even though she doesn't do insane damage, she also does do some decent damage on her universe. Her universe can hit for a, a decent amount of damage. It's nothing too crazy. It's going to be hitting about half as much as a Makoto universe would be doing, which obviously isn't a lot. It's, it's not great. I, I, however, think that it's still extra damage that your team can use, especially for a dungeon. All right, so floor five against the Chimera boss. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of damage here. Um, I feel like we should be doing somewhere around yeah, 1 million-ish damage in total. Um, but we should be pretty good here. I'm going to be saving the universe with Yukari to make sure that we don't get hit with the little purpleness at the end. And Pegreen's going to be able to completely tank this the entire way through. She's actually going to be going until the final phase. If she union bursts before we get that final like 10 second clock in, um, she will just completely tank everything. And she actually will take literally zero damage in total. Um, we're going to get hit really hard here, but that's this is fine. Like, look at this. Like, <laughs> it's, this is ridiculous. Pegreen is absolutely nuts with her unique equipment. Look at that. She just lives. She just lives. I, I don't know how... This unique equipment makes her so busted. Uh, so there we go. That is the first team done. We took about a million chunk off his health. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring a magical team here because magic uh, should be able to take down another million, good million off this guy's health. Uh, Pecreen, of course, still going to be our only tank since this is her showcase. Even still, look at her. She's like literally immortal. <laughs> she can't be touched. She's healing herself. Look at the damage that they did. Look, so look how much damage they did to the whole squad. Obviously, Carol doesn't have insane defense. So she's got, like, what, 100 physical or something? But, like, look at the overall damage that we take on Pecorine compared to the other characters. The other characters are going to be taking a, a 70, 80% of their health off of that one universe. And Pecorine over here, she's going to get her universe in really quick. And watch this. Ready? <laughs> she just lives. <laughs> it's, it's so ridiculous how she just lives literally everything. Her being able to last two whole, like, runs of EX Dungeon by herself is genuinely absolutely ridiculous. I'm very surprised on how well she was actually able to tank there. Um, obviously, she's going to die if we leave her out as the frontline tank. Uh, she's got, like, 10 HP or something like that. But we're going to go ahead and finish off this boss here, the Chimera boss. Uh, Pecorine definitely showed why I feel like she is probably the best tank. Look how much more damage Yuna is taking. Look at that. She's getting destroyed. Look at her health. Remember when Pecorine got hit with Union Burst? She was taking about 5% off her health. June's taking about a good 15 to 20% off her health when she gets hit with that Chimera Union Burst. And overall, I mean, her damage, 37,000, definitely way more than June's 15,000. Double that. There we go. That's pretty much going to cover Pecorine's unique equipment showcase. Let me know what you guys think of Pecorine down in the comment section down below. Do you think she's currently the best tank in the game? I probably think so. I think she's definitely number one. I feel like she replaced June. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. If you guys all have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day. Peace out, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, everyone.